Heaven's California Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video and today we are going to be here with a brand new series to the channel it is going to be FIFA Mobile. I'm going to flip my camera. This is my third time trying to film this so hopefully touch wood touch my desk here that it is going to work out just fine. Now if you don't know what FIFA Mobile is I'm going to give you a quick rundown. I'm hoping you'll all like the aspect of me doing this alongside the road to glory Train to Glory, whatever you want to call it. I think I call it Train to Glory. Uh, we're going to have three days doing the FIFA Mobile, three days doing Train to Glory, and then obviously Sunday is Special Gaming Sunday, which we missed out on this Sunday, but we'll be back next Sunday, or this coming Sunday. So, FIFA Mobile. Um, FIFA Mobile is what it is. Basically, spin-off from FIFA 18. Nothing like FIFA 18. Don't share the same account. Um, I'm a little bit further in than, you know, I'm not just starting out. Um, my team is obviously quite... High rated. We'll go into the team right now. Um, my everyone apart from my right back right now, my goalkeeper are probably mainstayers for the majority. Maybe Miete, but I'll give a quick rundown. You can have a look at some of the stats here. Here is Kosterman right here. Pretty good stats. Um, the weakest player in my team as such, I would go for right now. Two centre backs, pretty good. Holabas, yeah. Ronaldo, great. Zardes, great. Gerson, great. Gerson, obviously from the Carney ball event which I'll get onto later but that is basically the team I'm gonna go with now with this um, FIFA Mobile Road to Glory I am gonna be giving you basically I'm gonna be playing my games as you can see my energy is refilling I'm not I might play one versus attack mode basically I get up in the morning play all my games use my energy refreshes make sure though you do go and use uh, the watch to add for the free energy because I refilled my energy Three times full and then half again. So that's about 21 times you can watch the ad. You get five energy. Very good for replenishing that. Then I'll wait until about the afternoon until I stop playing. And then it will replenish up until the evening where I can just do a bit of the campaign which is just boring. And I can update you guys later on with that. But as you can see my league is doing pretty well. We're winning in that. Uh, my verse attack we're at 580,000 fans. Um... Not sure if I'll get any higher than that with the team I'm at right now, but again, we will see. Uh, let's actually make sure we are recording here. Yep, yeah, recording in progress, brilliant. Uh, in terms of the campaign, obviously I've got the Delhi Alley from the League Rewards. i am been a bit stuck with the Road to Champion, basically. I need a Team Hero, or I need a 90 rated team, or I need to go and get... No, that's basically what I'm waiting on. I'm waiting on... A 90 rated team but I'm not sure if I can get the 90 rated team until I get the dominate uh, the team hero player um, which is gonna be hard for me to get I could have got it in the AOE event or EOE event but um didn't quite have enough points to get there because I didn't get up to world class quick enough with my team that is when I really got my team up to something good as well as the tournament which is supposed to be reworked sometime this year in terms or sometime this week in terms of what's going on here we've got England, Spain, Germany, Italy, France Western Europe, Eastern Europe, North America, South America, rest of the world basically this is like a campaign mode what well, these are this is basically the campaign mode a single player mode where you face the uh, AI going up through chapter 1 to chapter 5 obviously going from lower overall teams to the first overall team you'll face is a 59 going all the way up to the hardest games in chapter 5 which are 120 now I've actually done all the way up to chapter 4 now I'm up to chapter 5, I've done some progress in chapter 5 uh, with the England, I did a couple last night I started on the uh, 5.4 match there against Brentford, 97 overall I have completed that one, I then went and did the 97 overall there we well, got a 98 overall Ipswich and we're a goal down and it is going to cost me 10 energy so that's kind of something I'm leaving I'll probably do the chapter 4's first just to get the coins and the XP and just see where I go from there because I'm a completionist but all the rest are done up to chapter 3 just waiting on the chapter 4's and you know the, the, the players you can get in chapter 4 are very juicy I've got my eyes on a Carl Walker which is why I started on that bottom left hand side 
because after I've done the Preston game and one other, I think I can then go ahead and get an 81 rated Carl Walker who would go in my team for uh, Klosterman over there at right back. Um, but in terms of everything else, um, we'll have a look at the Carnival. Uh, basically, the events, these are things that are refreshed every or weekly. So you've got the Carnival, this is this week's event, obviously replacing the E of E event. Basically, the Carnival, if you're not um, aware, I mean, I don't know many people, FIFA fans, that don't know about FIFA Mobile, but if you haven't, then I would go and download it, because it is a very good game. I'll put the link for the Google Play and the iTunes at the top of the description, if I remember. If not, then just search. Uh, I think it's called... I'm not sure what it's called on... I just typed in FIFA Mobile and it came up. Uh, make sure you don't download the FIFA Racing Companion app, that's not it. It'll have a an icon with Ronaldo on it. Basically, the Carnival uh, is basically, I'll, we'll have a look at the description. Play Carnival skill games every 12 hours to earn masks. Masks can be redeemed in the Parade chapter to unlock more skill games and earn special rewards. Hence where we got our Gerson from. Very good. First player you will unlock. And he's very good to put in your team if you haven't got someone better there already. Um, and special rewards including carnival ballers. Additional masks can be purchased in the carnival packs in the store. Unlocking masks to unlock the Spain, Germany and world, mar world class masks. You'll need to reach their perspective lane in the parade chapter. After a mask is unlocked you'll gain permanent access to another skill game and an offer in the main chapter. Um, you know you can go ahead and buy the offers if you want to. I could go ahead and buy that right now. I have enough thief points. Do I want to? Not really. Um, you know, there's only a chance I can get some of them things. As, love as, I, as long as much as I'd love the Zenta, he'd be pretty good. We've actually opened one of these before, and I did get the Marlon Santos, who isn't in my team, because my two centre-backs are currently a little bit better than him anyway. So basically, this is no games, it's just skill games. They refresh every 12 hours. Um, then every 12 hours you play them, and these rewards will be... Confetti, I think it's coins, confetti and, I'm not sure if it is confetti, but you will get a mask, and you can see how many masks you have up here, look, you have the, uh, the green, the, well, the Brazil, Germany, Spain, and world class, and then once you've done them, you can cycle through them and get yourself confetti, confetti you spend in the store, the store also updates every 12 hours, there'll be two offers, one which you can either get coins XP or skill boosts for 50 of the confetti or you get, there's also an offer for 200 of them I believe you can get a chance of getting one of the players or 75 you get a mask. I'd recommend going ahead just grinding and getting the masks. Um, I've already got the masks for these 12 hours unfortunately um, but I have got quite far with the Brazil. I'm just starting off with the Germany. With Germany now I need three masks. As well as the uh, Brazil masks. Now if say you went up and did. You got all the way to Jorge. He actually takes five masks. Then they're going to five masks. And I believe once you hit that one there. They then go to ten masks. Um, I mean you can get the Fernando Torres there. Whether we'll be able to get up to Fernando Torres. I don't know. Then you have the Icons event. The Icons event is very relevant to me. Uh, you know, Michael Owen, I need a 94 plus overall team consisting of at least six players with English nationality. Would be okay to do if you had a lot of skill boosts and you could just leave, go onto the market, get a couple of low rated, like 75, 76 rated them and then get all the max build skill boosts you know run around I think the skill boost can go up to plus 20 so that's how people get their teams Rodinho 98 overall with uh, six Brazilian nationalities and then Maldini overall with six Italians that's the icons against doing they have the team um, basically go through by any of these team of the week so I can go and do the skill game whether I will or not I don't know um, but basically you have the silver reserves, you get all the silver reserves, you get 50 team of the week points. You get all the gold reserves, you get 100 team of the week points and 10,000 coins. You get the 5 gold starter cards, you get 250,000 coins and 200. 
You get all the elite starters, you get one February player of the month point, you get all the starters and you'll get 5 million coins. Is it worth doing that? Not really. Um, I believe player of the month February, we don't know what it is going to be yet. Um, but would I, I mean the last one was Aguero and I didn't get, I had one player of the month point and I think I spent it on 2.5 million coins which helped boost my team up but currently right now in February we'll also have the February rewards now today is the 12th and I have already collected that the next one ready to be collected will be actually no, I don't think we've got the 12th one yet no I don't think we have um, no yeah it locks in two hours basically three hours from now which isn't too bad. We then have the daily warm-up event. Uh, basically, you do a skill game and you can get any of these prizes. For five tokens, you get four to 25,000 XP. For one token, you get a skill boost, 250 coins. And for three tokens, you get a gold player. I normally just go with the XP because XP is more important to me right now than coins. You then have the scouting event, which refreshes every four hours. It's not every four hours from when you do it, it's from every four hours just in the clock, in the cycle. Um, today, at the moment, I've got chip shots to do, and I'm currently on two. I always go for the Europe 5, because it's obviously the bigger players you have a chance of getting. Moving on, we have the matchups. Now, I've already looked at the results of the matchups. I did it in the last video um, that has got lost. Spurs did win, Napoli won, Bayern Munich won, and it was a draw between these two, which I was nearly very tempted to put down but I didn't if I had got all four could have got his 85 rated Alan that was looking very very good he'd be up to an 88 overall that'd be pretty good but we can actually get seven gold scouting players instead uh, we'll go back and have a look what else have I got to show you there's also the domination event which refreshes in 2048 um, basically this is how you upgrade your Griezmann so I play that, that event is locked, you get the domination match, then you get the XP's uh, which you get from domination points, now I don't know how you get the domination points, I'm probably from here, yeah look the domination stamina, not sure how exactly this actually works but uh, we'll see when we get to that, how that works, then we have team heroes that refresh every Tuesday. And basically that'll be tomorrow and you get these games unlocked. You play for the hero points, you spend the hero points on one of these on the crests. Once you have enough crests unlocked, you have a chance to get to there. Then you get um, that one unlocked, increased chance. You get 250, you get the player. Whether I'll ever get one, I do not know. If I'm lucky, I might end up getting one. Uh, we actually won our league tournament there, which means that I do get three league points with these three league points um you know i'm not in a, i don't think i'm in a league where you know you can't actually join my league if there was enough of you watching and you want it if we had 32 of us that could do a league then i would but we're not at that stage right now but what we can go and do we go to campaign we go to league rewards and you know i've already unlocked the deli alley and stuff i could get the xp for deli alley but he's already at an 89 overall just don't see the point doing it, I might as well go and reward myself with this. We get 30 skill boost for 9, I'm going to pop that in straight away. And we're going to see what league of reward we get here. We get 3 physical, defending, tackling, passing, generalist, yeah, all very general. The question is, are we going to be able to get any XP for doing any of these? We have 6 that we can do. Now I'm just going to do all of them regardless of whether they're going to improve my team because you get XP and that means I'll be closer to an energy refresh later on today. So I've got the passing one here, not affected by anyone, only cost me 5,000. I could do that a hundred times over and it'd be fine. I get the 80 XP and one day I might get a player that requires that skill boost. Uh, what you can do is have a look at the players affected. I don't think any of them are going to affect any of our players which is fine, we'll just go through and do all of them seeing as, you know, the carnivaler gets you some good money anyway 
so I think I'll just go ahead and buy all of these and that's about it for the first episode really guys um, you know there isn't really much else I can I can do I don't want to bore you with games right now this is kind of more of a an introduction episode you know to what the game is um, into what's happening I mean I haven't shown you the uh, versus attack mode which I'll do that in a minute I guess once we've done all these but we'll reward the heading one here more XP now look we're nearly up to that XP that we need to level up which is nice I should be able to get a level up either later on this evening or early tomorrow when I do my daily dailies um, so we'll do all them that is all done and I think we'll have a look what I not showing you, I've done campaigns, done the league, done the team, I'll do first attack, basically first attack, kind of like seasons on FIFA, you know, the higher you get, the better the rewards, the rewards are every week refreshed, um, you know, you look at my rewards right now, in world class I get points if I win, and I can spend these points on the world class reward where I get 30 skill boosts and 17,500 coins, um, I could go and spend about four hundred get four of these and get skill boost for my team but I'm gonna save the thief points right now um, just for a rainy day really but I think that is where we're gonna leave this one then guys if you're looking forward to seeing this series and would like to see another episode of this on the channel please do remember to drop a video like or drop a like on the video it is much appreciated and drop a few comments down below as well for me to talk about in the next episode as well maybe player suggestions or what you guys, the questions about the game that you guys might have. I'm pretty new to it myself, but I am slowly learning and I kind of know the ins and outs of the game as well. If you haven't done so already, also remember to drop that subscribe if you're not subscribed. And hit that notification button as well. Because sub boxes, sometimes the videos don't get put out. But if you have the notification bell on push notifications, it will come through directly to your phone or mobile device or your emails or your laptop, whatever it is. It will come through and you can watch it on there straight away. Be the first one to come along, drop a like, drop a comment and show your support. And if you'd like to as well, you're more than welcome to share the video amongst yourselves as well. But that is where we are going to leave this one then. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. I'm going to enjoy recording this for you guys. It's something new to the channel, something new for me. And hopefully we'll get ourselves a very decent team. But that is where we are going to leave it. Thank you all for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.